Today we'll be getting started with the fingerprint sensor from Adafruit. It's easy to incorporate into your Arduino projects. To get started, hook up all four wires to your favorite solderless breadboard and connect power and ground. Next, hook up the green and white wires to digital pins two and three on your Arduino board. Lady8 has written a special library for the fingerprint sensor, which you can download from the Adafruit GitHub repository. Once you've got your library loaded up, open the Enroll sketch from the samples and load it onto your board. This will help you register your fingerprints with the sensor. Open the serial monitor and follow the prompts to enroll your fingerprints. It'll ask you for a numerical ID and then ask you to place your finger, remove your finger, and then place it one more time so it knows it's got the right image. If it doesn't work the first time, don't be discouraged. Just keep trying. It needs to get a clear picture both times you place your finger to be sure it's got the right print. Continue enrolling until you've got all the fingers you want stored in the sensor. Then open up the fingerprint sketch from the examples folder. We can add just a few lines of code to light up some LEDs. Here I've set pins 11 and 12 as outputs and 12 is my red LED which I'll set high on from the start. Then find the bit of code where it found a match and add some extra code to turn off the red LED, turn the green LED on for a moment, then turn it off and turn the red LED back on, indicating we've got a match. Load this code onto your Arduino board and open the serial monitor to verify that your sensor is actually reading your fingerprints correctly. It'll give you a confidence measurement for how sure it is that it's a match. The higher the number, the better the match. Wire your LEDs to reflect what you wrote in the code. Mine are connected to pins 11 and 12. Now you can plug your Arduino board into the computer and test to see if it works. First scan the fingerprint you know you've got enrolled with the sensor. Lights up the green LED. Next try a finger you don't have registered with the sensor. The red LED remains on. You can use this simple code to control any of your Arduino projects, like sound, or even a solenoid that locks a safe. It works great with our RGB LCD display, which you can use to show extra information, like whose fingerprint it was, or deny someone entry to a door. We can't wait to see what you make with the fingerprint sensor, so leave a video response or share your project on our weekly Google Plus show and tell. More information at adafruit.com.